Hi, this is Lily Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling in a good and giving mood because today our quote of the day is no one is useless in this world who lightens the burdens of others by Charles Dickens. Being of service to others gives us meaning and significance to our lives, both which are of the foundations of feeling fulfilled and happy. There is no greater motivator for most people than other people. Someone who gains besides you if you succeed is a great motivating force. For every person on the way on their way towards reaching their goals, there will be times when they feel as if there is no use for what they are doing, what they are trying to accomplish. They may feel that they are wasting their time and no one will ever appreciate their all their hard work. And in these times, the greatest motivating force behind them continuing to go after their goals is people, mostly close people who will benefit benefit from their hard work if they succeed. The thought of those close people who are dependent on you and need you to succeed is a great motivating force to help you go through those hard times on the way towards achieving your goals. Ask yourself, who are the people who will benefit from your success besides you? Who will be helped by your success and who will gain from your perseverance? Maybe your children, your partner, maybe even your parents or employees. The bigger your goals, the more you will need other people to become a motivating force for you because you will need a lot of motivation. You can't do it on your own. You yourself will never be a strong enough motivator to go through those hard and difficult times that you will encounter on your path towards achieving your goals. And the bigger the goals, the more ongoing motivation is needed. You by yourself, you can't do it. You must have a strong enough motivator to get you through those hard times. The promise of personal wealth, fame, or power are just not enough to motivate anyone through the difficulties on the way towards the, reaching their goals. There has to be a strong enough reason to pull you through to get you to wake up early in the morning and do what needs to be done. If it is only you to benefit, then you will simply not do the work. You can see this in a very simple example of cooking at home. A person who was cooking for their spouse and their children dinner every single day for many years and really loves cooking will eventually stop cooking or reduce their cooking to a minimum when they have only themselves to cook for. Deep down within us, we do things for others more than we do them for ourselves. And when we have others as a motivating force behind our dreams, there is really nothing that can stop us. Other people become the real reason for our perseverance, much more than the gain of money, power, or fame. If these were your only motivators, then when difficulty arises eventually, and it will, then you will run away with the understandable thought of, why well, do I need all of this? And you, will, and you will be absolutely right. If no one else gains from your action and success, then you will not have the internal energy to pull you through all the complexities that you will encounter on the way. Doing what you do from a standpoint that you are doing what you do for others will ensure that you reach the finish line. Without this motivation, you pretty much have no chance. I went into real estate when my lawyer told me that my daughters would be taken away if I did not have a sufficient income to afford taking care of their special needs. They became my motivating force to make money. Before this moment, I did not really understand how important being wealthy actually was. And this completely changed my perspective and my path in life. Until I became financially free, I could not be stopped. I worked so hard the years after this lawyer spoke his thoughts to me and nothing could stop me from reaching the goal of financial freedom because I had this thought of my daughters that I was doing it for them. And it, and it was more than a thought. It's a belief. It's, it's You're doing it from your heart. And when I had cancer, I was told that I needed to go uh, to undergo radiotherapy and that during the treatment, I would not be able to get near my daughters for a month because I would be radiating and this would be harmful for me. So I decided that I would find a way, a better way to ensure my healing. And this fueled my research into the ideal diet for humans, which has since then become 
a bestseller and part of my doctoral research. And the motivating force for me was not to leave my daughters motherless and to do something that would heal me and others in a more natural way, way rather than a destructive way. Uh, also now, after the coronavirus lockdown closed my health uh, restaurants and I lost a lot of money, I just still decided not to sell any of my other properties so that um, I could make my life easier now. But instead, I decided to persevere in returning my debts over the next three years. In this way, my children would have the luxury of not needing to care for their livelihood in the future as I needed to do for my family. We need to place our focus outward for motivation in order to help us reach our desired destination. When we care for others, this becomes our motivator for, for success and this will definitely have, help you have the most chances of reaching your goals. Although helping others may seem as it is an extrinsic motivator, an external one from outside of us, it is actually intrinsic. It comes from inside, uh, from within us, not from not that someone told us to do it, which is an external motivator. It comes from within. When you have the mindset of being of service to others, you also feel entitled to succeed. And thus, many times, self-sabotage does not creep in and mess up everything for you because of the belief that you are not doing this only for your own benefit. Being of service to others doesn't even ask much of us at all. Just the willingness to be of service to others. There are no requirements, just the willingness and the and taking action. And when we are of service to others, we are really also giving to ourselves. It makes us happier and more fulfilled and fills our life with significance, which is an important factor for feeling happy and fulfilled. So as I always do with these videos, I will finish off with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help you move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, how will the achievement of each of my goals going to improve the lives of other people in a major way? Go over each goal and think about this question for each of your goals. As usual, I recommend writing this question and your answers in a notebook especially prepared for these coaching sessions. So to finish off, the affirmation of the day that I recommend is, I rejoice in giving. I rejoice in giving. Very simple. Tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button to get notified every time I upload a video. And also please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com, to help you move your health and wellness to a better level for you. Thank you very much.